I promise I won't speak a word of this to anyone. I... Just draw me off here, please, sir. Let me go. Alright, now, well, Josh, I can't have you going off talking to any of the little piggies now, can I? So, Josh, are you paying attention? Because, because I need you to be paying attention, because what I'm about to tell you next is very important to your survival. Not just yours, but your family's as well. Do you understand? You don't have to do this. Now, Josh, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be going into that building right over there. And my, our employer, has offered me quite a pretty penny to get this job done. So, if you do your job right, you don't make any fast movements, you keep your mouth shut, and most importantly, you don't do anything stupid, you'll get a pretty decent cut out of all this. Stop your whining. It's just to cut you loose. So relax. I'm your buddy. There we go. Get out of the car. What in the actual fuck? Who in the right my sit? Okay. If I wanted you to announce me to the whole neighborhood, I would have done that myself. I got a job for you. See? A good paying one too. If you just do what you're told and shut up. You're crazy. Josh, stop. Okay, see, I'm not asking anymore. 
this is much bigger than you. So if you say no or act sketch, you die. I was just being polite earlier. You'll still get paid. Let's just call the insurance so you don't talk to the cops, especially the cops. Not that they believe you anyway. Why wouldn't they believe me? Don't ask stupid questions. Just get in the car, sit still, and don't shake the fucking bag. Bag? All right, I ain't got all day. So you must be big. You must be Big Dan? Yeah, I'm Big Dan. Show us what you got. Oh man, this is the universal signal for move your ass. Come on. So you're gonna open it? Or you just look at it? Hey, don't touch any of their stuff inside. Fact. How about one of your boys do it? Looks real, why don't you give some to your boy there? Oh no. No, 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 no. I need him good and sober like a good Christian boy. Do it. No can do, buckaroo. We got church later. Why not your man there, though? He's not doing anything. Look at him. Just sitting there, slack-jawed, staring at the sun. Where are you? Would you like that? Expected by the greatest squad, beds it for ponding. for ponding. So we good? Absolutely. Transfer your I'm not sure. I got my life revoked in 04. You're a doctor? No. Weed card. I have back spasms. So, I just wanted to say, you did good back there. You did real good. Um, so I'm gonna drop you off here. Here, this is, this is the middle of nowhere. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, but again, though, you, you did a good job. So, uh, as thanks, I'm going to share my Bitcoin with you. Bitcoin? I, I don't even know what Bitcoin is. But again, I don't hear how that's my fucking problem. Now get out of my car. One, two.
Get out of my way before I run you over. I'm not sharing my Bitcoin with him. How's it go? Oh. What the hell is this? This isn't enough. I'm, I'm trying, sir. Well, you need to try harder. Otherwise, you need to start trying to get another job. Hold on a bit! Act like I'm the asshole. What a freaking jerk. What in the world happened here? Do you have any idea the kind of repercussions that could come from this kind of situation of our product? My product? This is unacceptable. I need to figure out what happened. We need to get Mr. Royal on this now. Mr. Smith, what's the time? 7.30. He should be here. Mr. Smith, what's up with your attire? Fishing, sir. Ah. Next time wear a tie.
Yes, sir. Boss man, Tiny, how's it going? You're looking great. Do something with your hair. Shut I'd... the fuck up, Dan. All right. Do you know what went wrong with the last shipment? Well, if I'm being honest, it's not really my job to know what happened. It's just my job to deliver. And yeah, I, I don't remember any of that. I mean, I, I kidnapped a kid. You clearly don't, Dan, because I just watched you pick up my product from a walking biological disaster. Bi biological disaster? I don't know what you're talking about. What, what happened? What you, what's going on? Mr. Smith? Thank you, Mr. Smith. Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, fix this, Dan, or by this time tomorrow, I'm going to be dragging you behind my car on my way to find someone competent enough to do this job without unleashing the apocalypse on our fucking paying customers. All very valid points, and you know what? You got a great way of incentivizing people. I'm gonna handle this, it's all gonna get taken care of. I'm gonna go clean up my fucking mess. I'm the dickhead! I, I know that. I you know, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go right now. I'm gonna It's all gonna be handled. And then we're gonna go have Christmas dinner together, right? You know, right? Yeah? Of course you do. Alright. You you have a great rest of your day. Your hair looks amazing. I was thinking about doing that myself. Going out.
What the devil do you want? I was just in the neighborhood. Hey, do you have that old book of life handy dandy notebook lying around anywhere? It's never far from me. You know that thing's just a bunch of old stories about old people doing the same old thing? Uh, it's an eternal book. It's not about what happened, it's about what always happens. Be that as it may, I got a job for you. You interested? I got a guy. Great. Meet me a bald knob, 8 o'clock. Hey. Yeah, meet me in 10 minutes. You know where. You guys ready for this? Does it look like we're ready for this? Is that all you got? It's all I ever needed. Oh. All right. Hey, yeah, it's done. Yeah. Yes, sir. I will. Your payment will be in your accounts by the end of the week. I haven't seen you in a while. What are you doing here? You remember the last job we did? The chemical factory we jacked up north? How it went horribly wrong? The bag of CBI we found was laced, so you got rid of it. Tell me something, Dan. Did you actually get rid of it? What? Yeah, I got rid of it. Of course I got rid of it. Why? That's not true. I know what I saw. It was definitely one of those things it creates. What was I supposed to do? Do you have any idea what Mr. Cutter would do to me if I threw away a bad batch of CBI? He would have shot me in the head off a cliff! Of course you did. You were always the one to drink the lake dry, weren't you? You never cared about your actions unless it turned back against you. Well, guess what, Dan? This time it did. You fucked up big time. Drink a lake dry? What the f- No, it's fine. I'll just go and kill the last two and- I don't think you have enough bullets. Good evening, I'm Jason Smirnoff. We interrupt this program to bring you a special report. There have been unconfirmed reports of rioters in the street. Citizens are claiming rioters are very violent and aggressive. Be on the lookout for anyone foaming at the mouth with open sores and cannibalistic tendencies. We go to our camera crew live on location. I told you to get rid of it. I told you it was a bad idea. They're drug addicts, Tiff. I just wanted to make a better place for her. So if I were you, I'd stop 
lecturing me and start trying to find a safe place to be. For her? You were never there for her. You never cared. Of course I cared. I sent thousands of dollars. For what? For her, Tiff. I sent all that money so that she could have a roof overhead so she could survive. But now here we are. And I think you should go. Let's go. Got no time for this. Oh, okay. This requires two guns.
much. How's your mom? Please have a seat. Well, she's awful. I mean, I've boarded up the house, but it's just a matter of time. I see. Why'd you call me your cutter? You know I've had my eye on you for quite some time, even before your first assignment. First assignment? You mean Dan kidnapping me and taking me out to the middle of nowhere? Watch your tone with me, son. Yes, sir. My apologies. Dan is fortunately disposed of. You do good work. You do what you're told. You do it right. Well, Dan's been running fool's errands for me, you've been out there doing the real work. Dan wasn't just a dealer. He was a problem solver. Unfortunately, he caused more problems than he ever fixed. Now that he's no longer a thorn in my side, I need someone to take his place. Well, I would need a place for my mom. Done. There's a chopper. Head into your house right now to pick her up and take her to the private island where all the families have been staying. Zombies? What are we going to do about that? How are we going to solve that problem? I've got some ideas.